four two. Damn, I'm good. Yeah? So clearly that is because of the lower war spec ratio. So I didn't put too much in there. It was a bit constrained. So that then is protected cube, but it's a massive effect on the on the spec. That will feed down to that lower war spec ratio. Okay, so another one mix three. Seating load on first, then it starts to crank up the load. So then we calibrate the sound, so it does something like this one. Some machines manually have to put the load on the cell. Yes, from a separate system down here. Failures then. So you can see we've got this sort of apple core shape, haven't we? Can you see that in the cubes? Mm -hmm. That's because the, the points of failure go from the corners to, to the point in the centre of the cube, so like two pyramids with their tips touching each other. That's what you want to see. But what you don't want to see is any cracks going across the top faces of the cube. Yeah? You always put the cube in with the machined uh, faces against the platens. So where it's been cast against the machine sides of the cube. You never put the what they call the trowel face, which is the bit we did on the top, okay? Because that might not be even, unless it's my trowel, of course, and it would be as good as the others, but finding that, so it should always be the machine sides against the sides. Again, if you've got cracks across the top, it may indicate the machine's faulty, and that's, it's not giving equal distribution of load. So, Let's have a look at this in here. Now this, we'll pass these round. Don't pass them around that way. What we want to see is really like here, where the aggregate sheared in two. So the aggregates failed before the sand cement matrix interface has failed. And when I said that generally uh, natural aggregate is about 10% weaker than crushed rock aggregate. This is partly the reason. Let's see, see if I can leave that out. So, so I'll take that out. You see, like a smooth socket where it's come out. Yeah? See, that's like a smooth socket. Now, with a crushed aggregate, that surface is all irregular and it grips that sand cement matrix a lot better. So we end up with everything being equal, a 10% increase in strength, and, and that's the reason. Okay. So if you're looking for sort of high strength concrete, you probably start off with a crushed rock aggregate. That's all right. 
Okay. All right, so we go back around the other side of the desk. Desk, benches. 